Before the Super Bowl today, we have a very special discussion for you, featuring some legendary names from all different sports networks across the country, including myself, including Joe Buck, Skip Bayless, Tony Romo, last but certainly not least, Stephen A. Smith. How are we feeling today, Joe? <sighs> yeah, my wife left me last night, heard me calling out, Mitchell! 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 <sighs> in my sleep again. That wasn't in your sleep, Joe. That was one of your game calls like 10 years ago. You gotta stay off the weed! I don't know, Stephen A. This is one of the few times I agree with you. This man definitely looks like he's on something. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but this does not seem like marijuana usage. I mean, he doesn't have any of the symptoms of marijuana. It's definitely closer to something like a hangover or maybe even withdrawal. Of course you would know. Shut up, Skip. Nobody wants to hear from your dumbass. Well, I am on the show. Skip Bayless. Gotta love that guy. Anyway, with the new year just starting, let's talk about some of your big predictions in sports this year. We're in February right now. Joe Buck, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you something. You know, let, 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 let me tell you something preposterous. I've heard a rumor, a rumor that professional sports leagues I'm talking the NBA, the NFL, MLB, the NCAA. NCAA? That's college football. It's not college football, Joe Buck. It's college basketball. Do your research. Oh, whatever. I don't care. Anyways, these leagues are trying to get rid of mascots. <laughs> mascots. Not these referees that just stand around and complain. I'm talking about mascots. Let me tell you something. It's disgusting. It's incredulous. It makes me sick to my stomach. We don't usually agree, Stephen A., but I agree with those sentiments. Uh-oh. Looks like Tony Roma's on to something. I don't know, guys. I wouldn't even go. You know, I'm just going to say it. What's the point of professional sports without mascots? I think we need a Tony's take right now. Not in the budget for anime cartoons this discussion. Thank you for that shocking revelation. So like one of these things is going to be banned. They're ruining all of professional sports. Like, why is he here? As interesting as it is to find out about Skip Bayless' childhood trauma, I hate to say it, but nobody gives the slightest shit. You can poke fun of me all you want, Joe Buck, but can you tell me that you're a better broadcaster than Vince Scully? Vince Scully never flubbed his calls. Or it sounded like he was taking a shit during the broadcast. Vince Scully? What the fuck? Vince Scully, Vince, isn't he the star of the James Bond film? Oh. Broadcaster for the Los Angeles Dodgers for years. Right. Right on the money. Thought you were about to say, way back at the wall. What the hell are you talking about? It's your famous line. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break. When we get back, let's talk, talk to rookie running back John Williams. Star Wars? Mm -hmm. Shut the hell up, Tony. Now, I'm playing with Tommy. Well, I'll be damned. Are you guys done screwing around here? You didn't say you was coming today, boss. Surprised? What's the occasion? There was a bust the other day. I assume you all heard about it. Who didn't? 
I'm going to ask you once. Who killed the cop? Those are some pretty big accusations there, Tony. You seem to have all the answers. Did you hear anything? No, sir. I wasn't even there. Honest. Nope, I was there. I didn't see anybody get whacked. I mean, I heard gunshots, but I didn't see anything. Me neither. There must have been somebody. When I find out, he's going to pay for it. Thanks for the warning. Yo, this really sucks, bro. Like, real talk. Like, you could have been at the club or something. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, out looking for hookers that aren't ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy, bro? Hey, man. What's up? When your parents ask what you do, what do you tell them? Well, I just tell them I'm a private investigator, you know? Investigator of the bull crap. You don't believe in ghosts or something? Look, how many times have we done this? How many ghosts have we seen? All right, at some point, you've got to ask, what the hell are we doing? And we're back after that short commercial break. And it took forever. And we're here with the rookie running back, John Williams, who's a 30-year-old rookie. Uh, I'm actually 24. Do you ever get confused with John Williams from Star Wars? Do you think you're better than Walter Payton is now? Or LT in his prime? Let's go over to somebody's question who really matters. Okay. Is Tom Brady vulnerable in the Super Bowl? Has he lost a step? Do you really think you'll win this game? There's you and Tom Brady as quarterback, but you look at the other side of the field with New Orleans, New Orleans Saints and there's Peyton Manning. Wait, hold on. That, that doesn't sound right. Oh, Drew, Drew Brees. I was right. Listen, I'll try to answer all the questions as best I can. First off, Tom Brady's the best. He's my QB. He's a good dude. Best of all time, all right? All right. I can take that. I look up to LT and Payne, but I'm just trying to do the best I can. And Tony, I've never gotten compared to the, the Star Wars thing, but I think I know where you're going with that. Uh, Joe, did you forget to ask me the question? Oh, I forget. Can someone pull it up? There's no teleprompter, Joe. Oh, right. So tell me, what was your favorite Doritos? Next question, please. All right, I've got a question for you, Mr. John Williams. You've got quite the story. You broke your ankle and sat out your first two years in college. Your senior year, you started on the bench as the third string running back on the team that didn't even make a bowl game. Then you went undrafted last year after failing a marijuana test. That's pretty severe. But then you come back and you win all pro honors. Win the MVP and you go to the Super Bowl with the man himself, Tom Brady. How does that feel? You know, I got to tell you, Stephen A. Smith, uh, we all go through tough times, but uh, yeah, the marijuana charge isn't anything severe. In fact, I just blazed up before coming here, and it feels great. All right, gentlemen, thank you for your time. That concludes our program for tonight. Everybody, enjoy the game. What the fuck is this? They didn't even have the right game. It's Patriots Rams, not Patriots Saints. 
They weren't even interviewing someone on the right team. They were supposed to interview Todd Gurley from the Rams. Not the guy who won our fantasy football Super Bowl sweepstake. We just looked like dumbasses to the entire world. That would not be far from the truth, honestly. And with all due respect, you are the person who has filmed a special at Rutgers Candid instead of Atlanta, where the game is actually being played. Go get me a coffee. Yeah, it was me. I hijacked that interview. I guess it shows you how much those analysts really know. Why did I do it? Well, let me ask you this. Why did the NFL decide to rob the Saints on that play that was clearly past interference? Well, we should be the ones facing Tom Brady tonight. So if Roger Goodell and the refs can lie to America, guess what? So can I. We got the Patriots and we got the Rams. As opposed to what was previously reported, that's my apology. But first, here's the Tony's tape. See, I'm going to make a prediction here. I don't think either team is going to win. What I think is going to happen is a mad scientist is going to resurrect a pterodactyl. And right after halftime, that big monster is going to fly into the field and start attacking all the players. And they're going to call the game and no one's going to win. <laughs> yeah, there's no chance that ever happens. It was the horrible monster bird who had terrorized the sands of time for countless ages. Well, this just in, if you haven't heard yet, the Super Bowl is called off at halftime thanks to a pterodactyl looking creature storming in and attacking people in the stadium, such as players and fans. I've never seen anything like this in my life, and I've been around sports for years. This man is a wizard. Well, it seems as though Tom Brady's record remains five and three. The greatest of all time would have won that game, five and three. No great would ever have that record. Why do you always hate on Tom Brady? Bastards left my wife. Now, was that before or after LeBron L. Skip's wife? He can sleep with my wife. That's no problem with me. But if he's a self-proclaimed king, he can't have a 3-6 and six record in the finals. I think it's a good time to end the program. Enjoy the offseason, everyone.